Hi, this is Ashley and I am here to talk about some stuff and this time I'm going to be talking about series. And so there are a lot of series out there. People love them. I love them. But there are all different kinds of series. They are not made equally. And I just wanted to talk, take a little bit of time and talk about the different kind of series that are out there. So the way I categorize series is there are three different kinds of series. So the first kind of series is what I would consider a true standard series in which you have a bunch of characters and you follow them on different new adventures each time. Um, a good example of this are a lot of urban fantasy series. So things like the Anita Blake series and, and even the Discworld series, they fall into this sort of category. And the way that you can tell that it is one of these series is you have all of the characters that are the same that you keep seeing over and over again and they are all in this same world and they are following a kind of trajectory trajectory but it is not a full story each individual story is its own and it is not building towards something bigger. There are times where you can see these series where they have mini arcs that go through a few different books and they progress that way, but they are really just standalone stories using the same characters that are back in the same world. And I really enjoy those kind of series and I wish that there were more out there. The other kind of series are the ologies. That's what I like to call them at least. These are, again, stories where you are following the same characters, but the difference is you are following one major story. Generally in these books, you they are kind of broken into two different ways. So either it is one giant story, which is what I would consider something like the Canaan Chronicles, where it is really, it truly is an ology where it's one big giant story and it has one arc and there might be a individual story for each different book but it's really about this one big overarching story. Another book, another ology that falls into that is Lord of the Rings and that's actually a really great example of this because Lord of the Rings was written as one book. It was then broken into three books even though it was written as one and you have this one arcing story and then just entries into that ology. Then the other kind of ology is the one where it truly does have individual stories that are all building towards one major story. So Harry Potter is, a, is an example of that where you each different book has its own plot and its own distinct goal but each book is also building on the bigger goal which was defeating Lord Voldemort. And so you, those are the two different ologies that I see. And then finally, there is the third type of series, which are the companion series. So those are things like Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door. They are companions where they are in the same world. You might have the same characters, but they are separate. Discworld also falls into this because Discworld is big and complicated. And while it has individual lines that follow the series pattern, they are also companion series in the sense that they are all occupying the same world and don't necessarily have the same characters, although some might come in from other places. And these are companion series because you're generally following a different set of characters. The Starbound trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner also falls into this companion series where they are all completely different stories, different characters, and there might be things that connect them other than just being in the world, but the world is the major factor that is bringing these different stories together. And so I just wanted to talk really briefly about those series. Why don't you let me know what kind of series you enjoy the most? And if there are any series that you might want to recommend to me, that would be awesome too. I will see you guys next time. Bye.